Welcome to Make Workshop, where we check out tools, tech, and toys built for makers. Today, we're going to look at the latest 3D printer from Creality. Here it is. This is the Creality CR6SE 3D printer. It's currently on Kickstarter for the remainder of the week, I think. After that, you'll be able to find it on their website, which is creality3dofficial.com. Uh, before I go further with this, I want to remind you this is not a sponsored video. Creality did send us this 3D printer, uh, but they did not sponsor the video additionally on top of that. And most of the equipment that gets sent to me for this series goes back to the manufacturer or finds a new home afterwards. Um, let's get back to the printer though. This came in a box. I'm going to show you the assembly real quick. It was really easy. Everything you need to build this printer comes in the box, all the tools are included, and assembly is pretty easy. All you're really doing is putting the Z-axis onto the frame. It's four screws and then you screw the uh, display on and the handle on and you're pretty much done. It was really easy to assemble, then you make sure it's got the correct voltage uh, selected for where you are, either 220 or 110, and turn it on and you're ready to go. That's pretty much it. So as far as specs go, uh, this printer has a 235 millimeter by 235 millimeter by 250 millimeter build area. It's got power failure resume, so if your power cuts out, it can continue printing again. Uh, it's you know got all the typical things you would expect pretty much from kind of a, a modern flagship 3D printer. New to this one is the fact that it has bed leveling. It taps all around at different points of the bed to create a mesh surface and auto level the bed. That's something I've actually had a lot of discussions with people about. Some people feel that you should, the user should have to level the bed as some sort of a rite of passage or something. And I feel that we should automate every part of this. Sure, if you want to build kits and if you want to have control over every aspect of your 3D printer, fine. But I personally think that, you know, the, the option should be out there to have a one-click print eventually. Now some other features that stood out to me on this printer that I really liked are actually really simple things that I haven't seen on other printers before. I mean, bed leveling is amazing and I can't imagine living without it now, but there are a couple features that really stood out. One is these little tension knobs. It's kind of hard to see this because they're black and everything's black, but there's a little knob here on the end of this axis and another one here. And this allows you to tension your belts with ease. Now, if you've had a 3D printer for a while, you know that the belts can stretch over time and you eventually lose steps as the belt hops over the little gear teeth on your stepper. This allows you to tension it with a little twist like that. So easy. Really kind of elegant. I'm surprised I haven't seen something like this before. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then the other feature is this. This got me really excited. This is just a drawer. And it's silly, I know, to get excited over something like a drawer, but it, to me it shows forethought. So if, if you have a printer, you know that you end up leaving your tools and junk around it and it's on the counter or you find a drawer somewhere else. And, and this shows forethought that somebody thought about how you're gonna use your printer and they put a drawer there for your tools. I like it, it's simple. It's, it's, I don't even know if that's one of their major selling points, but I, I think it's pretty cool. So more features of this printer. It does have a removable glass bed with a kind of textured surface on top, which in my prints so far has done great with bed adhesion with PLA, uh, but getting prints off, of course, you're back to kind of prying. A flexible build plate would have been great. First prints went smooth uh, right out of the box. The, the bed leveling worked perfectly. The Z offset needed to be adjusted a tiny bit, but that's really easy to do on the color touch screen here. During the prints, I like that it shows a percentage completed on the, on the print. I know that you can look at your print on the bed and you can see how done it is, but for some reason I like seeing the percentage, especially when it's towards the end, like that 97%, 98%, like you can tell it's almost done, but seeing that percentage helps, you know, cool your jets a little bit. The prints turned out okay out of the box. This was my first print off of it. This is with the supplied PLA, you can see it's a bit 
stringy, a bit blobby, but even something as simple as running the exact same file, this is just G code that they supplied, the exact same file with better filament, and you get much better results. So I think this shows that the printer is actually doing fantastically. The filament leaves a little to be desired though. At $350, it's kind of hard to dispute that this is an incredible value. It's a nice printer, it prints decently well uh, once you get some good filament in it. The features are nice, the interface is nice. I actually like this printer a lot. The one thing that I would improve right off the bat would be a flexible build plate. Once you've used one, it's kind of hard to go backwards. It feels like a huge step to go backwards to a solid build plate again. Check out this printer on Kickstarter, links below, and once the Kickstarter is over at creality3dofficial.com. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that. We have some really cool stuff that has just arrived in the shop. New videos coming soon. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, click that little bell so that you can get notified the next time we put out a video.